Well, again, <laughs> I, I, I sound like a single string instrument, but <laughs> um, for me, the most important thing is to let the, let the counselee know how much I care for them and how much hope there is uh, in a relationship with God to have the tools um, that he gives us in Scripture to be able to deal with uh, all sorts of addictions and overcome them. Um, And then the fact that the ministry of the Holy Spirit in us as we put our faith in Christ and We do that by God's grace. Uh, It's his gift, another expression of his love. Uh, We can't even believe until God gives us faith. When he does, we can believe, and then we can experience life totally different from what we were experiencing moments before we truly believed. And God equips us. He says in his word, that he gives us everything we need for life and godliness. He also tells us there's no temptation that any of us has that is not common to man, and with temptation, he gives us the way out. It's his spiritual equipping that allows us, as we believe, as we are followers of Christ, to take the truths of God's word, the reality of his love, and apply them to whatever addictive behavior we may be dealing with and have the ability in Christ through his strength. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Addiction is in that category of all things. And we can overcome as Christ gives us strength. A beautiful passage in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, I think it's verses 7 through 10, where Paul deals with the thorn in the flesh. I often share with people who are dealing with addiction that that is uh, their primary uh, thorn in the flesh. And as Paul struggled with that and prayed to God to take it away, uh, God didn't take it away. He changed Paul's circumstances But Paul declared, I am strong when I am weak. When he admitted his weakness, then God gave him strength to deal with whatever it was he was facing in life. And that's been powerful in me. Uh, There was a day in my life when I smoked three packs of cigarettes a day. And that was was an addictive behavior, believe me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah a hard addiction to overcome. I tried, I tried, I tried, and I failed until I came to the point where uh, that passage of Scripture in 2 Corinthians really jumped out at me, and I acknowledged my weakness. I stood up in a church service and told my fellow parishioners, uh, I wasn't a pastor then, I was a layperson, that uh, I was struggling with this habit. I couldn't quit. And God had really spoken to me and said, if you will be honest, uh, you will have the strength you need. And I stood in a prayer meeting, shared with the folks that I was struggling with that addictive behavior. And God, true to his promise, began strengthening me so that within a month, I went from three packs of cigarettes a day to no cigarettes a day. And it was only by his wonderful gift and grace. Yeah. You know, I get asked that.